So we are now using the front camera of the Poco X3, so 20 megapixels, so kita nyo, very sharp yung quality and very detailed. So ito yung pinaka max ng front camera is 1080p at 30 fps. So wala siyang uh, electronic image stabilization, so if if we will walk around, yun, medyo malikot na yung background natin, medyo shaky na. Yun, so wala kasi siyang image stabilization sa front camera But yung back camera na to is Lahat is my image stabilization So napakagandang, napakagandang feature ng Poco X3 So I'll try to run around, walk around So that you can see Yung uh, ating uh, stabilization sa front camera So I'll try to run around So another feature ng Poco X3 is yung dual video niya, yung front and back. Pwede nyo pagsabayan, kagaya ng, ng ganito, di ba? So this is very useful if nagdo-vlog kayo at gusto nyo i-share yung mga nakikita nyo dun sa mga viewers niyo kagaya nito. You can check out the beach here in here in Crimson, di ba? So pa-sunset na tayo ngayon. So you can see the golden sun, yun, golden sun here, over there. Diba? So napaka-enjoy, napaka-enjoy. Magandang feature itong, uh, itong dual video mode ng Poco X3. So actually pwede nyo ding uh, palakihin yung mukha nyo yung lalaki. You just have to press this button. Yun. Pwede nga uh, side by side, diba? So pwede din yung, uh, yung rear camera yung uh, malaki or yung front camera. There. Yun. So pwede din yung, uh, yung front camera yung uh, main video Tapos yung back camera yun yung uh, maliit So actually pwede nyo ding i-drag Diba? Pwede nyo i-drag kung saan nyo gusto i-pwesto Yung uh, video, yung maliit na video Yung sa likod, yung uh, main camera natin Nice So we are now using the rear camera We'll start at 1080p, so hanggang uh, pataas natin to 4K. So for now, we'll use the 1080p, 30fps. So we'll walk around. Medyo stabilize naman yung uh, ating mga nakukuha na video. There. So yung nakaganda ng uh, back camera ng Poco X3 is 64 megapixel na siya. Imagine that, 64 megapixel. And my electronic image stabilization na rin siya. Which is very good for vlogging, di ba? Yung mga nanonood ng vlog, usually yun yung uh, common problems or yung complaints ng nanonood is masyadong shaky yung camera but with the image stabilization, definitely it will make your videos more smooth. So we'll just walk around the beach. So we'll try to run. So we'll just jog tayo ng konte if the stabilization is still there. So I think ayos naman yung electronic image stabilization ng ating back camera. Smooth pa din naman kahit uh, tumatagbo tayo. This time we are using the 1080p 60fps naman tayo. So 60 frames per second. So mas smooth na yung ating uh, video. Especially mas visible to sa mga in action. Mga in action like moving cars or mga sports. So mas clearer, mas smoother. Mas uh, real life, kumbaga, mas real life yung kuha natin na uh, video using the 60 FPS. So, okay din yung uh, image stabilization niya. Which is, again, another thumbs up for the Poco X3. 
So we'll try to run around. So, medyo we had a hard time running sa sand. So, try natin dito sa concrete naman na So we'll try to run. There. So I think okay naman yung uh, image stabilization natin at 60 FPS, 1080p. So again, thumbs up kay Poco X3. So we are now shooting at 4K, 30 frames per second. So, mas detailed na yung uh, nakaka-capture ng video. You can see more of the details of the objects. There. So, 30 FPS lang siya. but yung detailed na nakukuha niya wow ang 4K na 4K so we'll just pan around we'll check if okay ba yung uh, ating stabilization there So I think okay naman yung uh, EIS or Electronic Image Stabilization at 40K. Hindi masyadong maalog yung kuha na ang video natin kahit naglalakad tayo around. Which is again another thumbs up for Poco X3. So if you would like to take some cinematic shots, yun, may movie frame na feature ang Poco X3. Makita nyo nga may black dun sa taas tsaka sa baba. Diba? It's like uh, you are watching a cinema. So, ito yung kuha niya. Diba? Pang movies. Diba? Kung baga, cinematic. Pwedeng cinematic na cinematic yung kuha natin with the Poco X3. Wow. So, definitely sa mga mahilig mag-vlog or mag-gumawa ng mga short film, pwedeng-pwede itong ating Poco X3. Three. Thumbs up again. So you can also use the ultra wide lens of your Poco X3. Diba mas wider yung coverage nya. Mas madaming, uh, it's like yung view. Kuhang kuha nya yung view. It will give your audience like an overview kung ano yung uh, overall feels or overall vibes nung place. Gaya na to, the beach, diba? Mas madami yung nakukuha niya nga sa background, kumbaga. Ultra wide na ultra wide. So, yun. Thumbs up again for this feature. Ultra wide. You can use this at uh, 1080p or at 4K. Pwedeng pwede itong ating ultra wide lens ng Poco X3. For mga more on action shots naman, may ultra steady mode din ang Poco X3 natin. So sa mga mahilig ng sports, diba? e for example, nag skateboarding kayo diba? at gusto nyo uh, makuha yung, uh, yung point of view kumbaga, while skating or doing some extreme sports, pwede pwede itong Poco X3. As you can see, very steady yung kuha natin. Very steady, very stable. So definitely we'll try to run. Kung very stable ba talaga. So, so I'm walking right now and then currently I'm jogging around. Wow. So very steady yung kuha natin. Kaya tumatakbo tayo. So definitely you can use this feature ultra steady ng Poco X3. So yun. 
get the look take a look at the beach wow it's a good day today definitely so yon i think we covered most of the features of the camera of our poco x3 use the pro feature and you can adjust the iso level or the exposure lahat pwede nyo i-adjust dito yung lens na gusto nyo gusto nyo wide ultra wide macro so this feature is very useful if if you gusto nyo uh, you want to play around with the iso gusto nyo uh, for example yung iso i fix natin to 100 di ba 100 400 and then yung exposure so pwede natin uh, we can darken yung exposure and we can focus on for example there is the sunset pwedeng pwede yung uh, e-record gamit itong uh, Poco X3 so that's it so I think this is very very good feature diba? so we'll try to record uh, clip that we are seeing right now with the ISO at 100 and we adjusted the exposure to negative 1.7 so this is how it looks you can use this if you want to take some like uh, cinematic shots of the sunset so yun thumbs up thumbs up sa feature nito ng Poco X3 So may feature tung Poco X3, yung video niya, pwede niyo gaming macro. So ito yung this is how it looks. Diba? Very very nice, diba sa mga mahilig sa mga macro shots. Ngayon, pwede na siya sa video with our Poco X3. So pag i-zoom out niyo siya, ayun. Very blurred na. Ayun. Zoom in ulit natin. So that we can use the macro feature of our Poco X3. So yun lang yung video natin, di ba? Ultimate test ng uh, camera, ng video test ng Poco X3. For me, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. So yun, I think this is a good camera, especially dun sa mga gusto mag-vlog, di ba? You can use it for cinematic, you can use it yung, uh, for mga action, di ba? So madaming pwedeng uh, gawin with your Poco X3. You can use the Pro features, di ba? So yun, napakadami. May macro pa siya, may ultra steady. So definitely, this is a good phone. And you can only get it, di ba? For just... 8,000. May 8,000 na ngayon sa Lazada sale. So, you can check my description down below. And yun, for me, sulit na sulit yung Poco X3. At yun, for me, kayo guys, if uh, ano sa tingin nyo yung ating, uh, ating uh, camera test for today, comment down below kung ano yung uh, sa tingin nyo na magandang feature ng Poco X3 or ano pa yung pwede niyang improve in the next upcoming phones. Diba? So that, yun, ma tayong lahat ay happy na mga Poco X3 user. So yun, once again, my name is PJ. Sa mga hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe, subscribe kayo, hit the like button, and comment down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.